everybody. My name is Sandeep Chohal and I'm an artist living and working in Vancouver, BC. Uh, my art practice consists of drawing, painting and mural work. You've probably seen my murals around the Lower Mainland, but if not, keep an eye out. I'm coming to you live from my home studio at my trusty kitchen table and I'm going to show you how to do one of my favorite activities of all time exquisite corpse. I love exquisite corpse for a lot of reasons, mostly because it's super fun, but you can do it anywhere, anytime with anyone. It doesn't require any specific skill set. It doesn't require a ton of materials. Before we start the activity, I want to show you an example of exquisite corpse. This is one that I did by myself, but usually I do it with two or more people. We're creating a collaborative drawing that has three parts, a head, a torso, and legs. You can use animals, humans, any kind of mythological creature you can think of. It's totally up to you what you want to draw. Whatever, let your imagination go wild. All you need is a piece of paper. This is your standard eight and a half inch by 11 inch printer paper, but you can use any kind of paper you want or any size you want. You're going to take this paper and fold it in half lengthwise to get this lovely crease. Now you're going to either use a pair of scissors and cut this paper in half, or you can use a ruler and tear this paper in half to get this. Now you're going to fold each of these into thirds and it'll look something like this. So you'll begin by drawing the head in section one. You'll draw a neck and those lines will extend into section two. So when you're done, you will fold one over and three under and you'll pass this to the next person. They'll continue drawing the torso from where you've left the necklines. When they're done the torso, they're going to draw those lines onto section three for the next person. So they know where the torso ends and the legs begin. So I'm gonna draw a bird head and make sure that I extend the lines into section two, which is key. So you can see that I've extended the lines over the fold. And now I'm gonna complete the bird. I usually use a thin tip black felt, but for this demo, I wanted to use something thicker so you guys could see this better. And really, it's up to you. You can use whatever you want. You can use a felt, pencil crayon, a crayon, as long as it doesn't bleed through to the back of the paper. So I'm gonna add some eyelashes. Do birds have eyelashes? I don't know. This one does. Um, I'm gonna add an eyebrow. And then you can add like accessories, make things fun. So I'm gonna add a little top hat cause who doesn't like a bird with a top hat? And then I'm gonna add some stripes. So you can get as detailed as you'd like. I'm gonna add a bunch of pattern, I'm gonna add some dots to this pattern, and then some stripes. And then finish off with some lines on the head. Oh, and maybe I'll add a flower. So now I'm going to pass this to the next person, but since I'm the only one doing this, I am the next person. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm gonna flip section three underneath. So you have section two here, and this is gonna be the torso. So I'm gonna draw, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a multi-armed monster with six arms and four fingers on each hand. So now we have the torso. So you're going to flip this over to section three and hand that to the next person. But again, since I'm the only person doing this, I am the next person. So now we'll finish it off with 
I don't know, how about some octopus legs? Add a few extra and I'm done. The legs. So are you ready for the big reveal? Dun 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 dun! What is this? It's got the head of a bird, the body of a monster, and the legs of an octopus. How fun is this? This is the part I like best because you get to see how everyone's drawings work together to create this wild, magical creature. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do exquisite corpse and I hope you do them with your friends and family because it's super fun. Anyway, thanks for drawing along with me. Bye!